In today's video, we're going to be comparing the current 2022 Arsenal team up against a prime Arsenal team with the likes of Dennis Bergkamp, Thierry Henry, Patrick Vieira, and more. This, this could get ugly. To be honest though, Mikel Arteta in real life has got this Arsenal team playing pretty well, you know. They're like in the top four right now. And I genuinely feel Arsenal have got what it takes to finish in a Champions League position this year. Watch this become a meme when Arsenal end up finishing ninth or 10th, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Mikel Arteta has got them playing well. Saka, Odegaard, Martinelli, all top tier players. Lacazette up top is decent. Thomas Partey in midfield. Chaka, you never know what you're gonna get from him, but when he's on his best, he's he's decent. At the back again, looking solid. Players like Smithrow, Pepe, and all on the bench too. Parmeyang is a bit of a weird one. I feel like he hasn't played for Arsenal in a long time, and he's just become like a party monster or something these days. <laughs> <laughs> Why on earth would you be partying the night before the AFCON begins? Does he not want to try and win it with his national team? He's the captain as well, and he's tested positive because he was partying the night before. Like, I'm confused with the barman. Does he even want to be a footballer these days? Because he's barely played for Arsenal lately, but oh well. Today's video is sponsored by One Football. Team of the Year is just around the corner, and One Football have got you covered. A 1 million FIFA points giveaway, which will give you a chance to get any of the Team of the Year players you want. You've got a chance to win a share of that. All you gotta do first is take your phone out, which you probably have, otherwise, how would you be watching this video? Click the link in the description, download the One Football app, and then you gotta fill a form, which has got some super cool questions like which platform do you play FIFA on your full name? And and of course, this is my favorite one. List three upgrades you'd make in your current team. I've already told mine. We're team of the year coming. I'd probably replace my Benzema to a team of the year Messi, because why not? You also got to copy and paste the first headline you see when you open the One Football app. Just paste it on you and you're done. That's it. You've entered the 1 million FIFA points giveaway. Make sure to click the link in the description and download the One Football app and enter the giveaway. But here's the juicy team, guys. The prime Arsenal team. And of course, we're starting with Olivier Giroud. The best of the best. I'm being serious. Mr. Meme himself. Now, I think he is the most underrated player of all time. See, I don't do if, buts and maybes. I do absolutes. <laughs> World Cup winner. And he was pretty important for that World Cup side, even though he didn't score. For the setup and everything. Allowed Mbappe all that freedom. And apart from that, his numbers for Arsenal are wherever he's been. And he scored scorpion kicks as well. So, I think Giroud is very underrated. We've given him an 84 overall. Put him on the bench though because the rest of this team is too good guys. It's just too good. Dennis Bergkamp, Ian Wright up top. We're kind of teaming it around the Arsenal Invincibles but we're adding a few players from different NRs too. So we've gone with Bergkamp up top along with Ian Wright. Haven't had Wright in any of the experiments we've done so should be a fun one to see. Thierry Henry of course. Petit, Vieira, Pires. Like what even is this team? And then you go back to a few average players that moustache is questionable. Bellerin, like, it doesn't feel like it's from this era. I, I feel like Bellerin is like a legend from Ian Wright's era with that moustache. But anyways, Koscielny is in there, Vermeilen. These two, I think, very underrated as well. Uh, you've got Ashley Cole in there. Now, that's another questionable one because bit of a snake. Yes, you're right. But still, we'll put him in there. Chesney in goal. And then you've got the likes of Van Persie. Again, like Ashley Cole, kind of snaked Arsenal to join Man United. So, <sighs> we've still put him on the bench. Mark Overmars is in there. Alexis Sanchez in his prime. He was unreal for Arsenal. I think that's where he was at his absolute best as well. Aaron Ramsey's in there on the bench. Monreal and Gibbs do well. That is your prime Arsenal team. Now, you guys know what we're going to do. We're going to put these two sides in a computer versus computer match to see which one comes out on top. Maybe a bit of career mode simulation and some Volta after. Let's get into it. Boys, drop me in your early predictions for this game. I think it's going to be 4-0 to prime Arsenal. Their team is just too good and the overalls on the current Arsenal team are a bit on the lower side, so that's just what I think. All right, boys, let's see what happens in uh, this one. The red team, current Arsenal, and the blue team is, of course, the prime FC with Dennis Bergkamp, Henri and all. Very keen to see who actually dominates for them. Let's see. I swear if somehow we get an upset, that'd be hilarious. But in this series that we're doing, you know, with these prime versus current, Man United... The one we did, they got thrashed from the Prime team. Look at Vieira there. Well, he gave it away cheaply. But yeah, Barca got thrashed by the Prime team as well. So Arsenal, I think, will get thrashed as well. But you never know with FIFA. Right now, Martinelli, that was, that was a clueless pass. And Patrick Vieira bullies them to getting it back. 
Guys, all I want to see in this is a Thierry Henry finesse shot goal. You know, where he opens up his body. The classic Henry finish. If we can get that, oh my lord, would that be insane. Now it's Ian Wright going for goal. Wow, wow, wow. That's all it took. Bang. Ian Wright scores. 1-0 up. Prime FC for Arsenal. Bang, bang. Ian Wright. Oh my lord. I've only seen him in, you know, being a pundit on Sky Sports or whatever. And... On the pitch, look at that, that's that's what he's capable of. Left foot, put his foot through it, off the crossbar and in. This could get bad for the current Arsenal team, it really could get bad. Also, another quick question, Arsenal fans, do you all think Mikel Arteta is the man for the job? Trust the process has been ringing around quite a bit now, but I finally feel Arteta is getting his feet right at, of course, Arsenal. So, what? He has sent off. We might be getting our first upset in one of these videos because out of nowhere, Robert Perez decides to murder Lacazette. What? I, I've never been this confused. Never. Why would Robert Perez do that? All right, guys, 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 guys. I need an instant replay because this literally makes no sense. Robert Perez, middle of the pitch. He's an attacker, decides to, oh, I'm going to take him out of this game. Like, has Perez lost his mind? That was a red card, 100%. I'm now even more curious to see which team comes out on top. Perez has cost the Prime FC. Okay, this might prove my theory that if you go a man down, you're actually better off like that because your players become super OP. And watch Andre win the header, and it actually went in. I kid you not, this is a thing. If your team gets a red card, all your remaining players become OP as hell. Look at this. Andre is celebrating like he scored. I'm pretty sure that's an own goal, but whatever. Who put it in? Andre header, and then I think it just came off somebody's head, and then he just ended up tumbling. That was a hilarious goal. Well, camp. Oh, wow. Rebounds just fall for them as well. I'm confused just looking at this gameplay. This prime Arsenal are a man down, and they're out here scoring goals for fun and playing football like, look at this. Petit with the back heel. I'm, I don't know what I'm seeing here, but it's 3-0. Ooh, are we seeing a fight back here? And Lacazette misses. He had to score that. He had to. Just before halftime, why is it already 48 minutes in the clock? The ref should just blow for halftime. Instead, we might see a chance of Vieira winning that header. Finally halftime and a bit of breathing room for Mikel Arteta's boys. The XG speaks volumes. 2.8 for Prime FC and yeah, 0.7 for the current. And that's with a man advantage. Ooh, Aubameyang is on for this second half. Let's see if that changes anything, but so far... Robert Perez's absence, he's just chilling probably on the bench, enjoying this game because it's 3-0. Ian Wright again, he's going to score from here, is he? Oh, he tried to lay it off, but didn't pull it off. Odegaard going for goal, that's a good save from Chesney. Yo, talking about Arsenal keepers, how many good keepers have Arsenal let go of? Chesney, Fabianski's decent, Emiliano Martinez... A lot of names just come up in mind. One thing I'll tell you, Ian Wright is absolutely insane. Like, the dude is, like, dribbling like he's prime Messi or something right now. Petit now, Andre, Ian Wright, bang. I mean, that shot, I couldn't even see the ball there. Ian Wright has scored again. It's 4-0. I didn't expect this with a man down, that Prime Arsenal would do this. But this, this is illegal. Like, stop the game, ref. It's just stop the game. Aubameyang going for goal. Another save from Chesney. Feels like the same clip has been played again. Aubameyang going for goal, and that one came off the crossbar. Wow. This time, it actually was a bit lot better. To be fair, guys, all that talk about Aubameyang, he's probably been the best player for the current Arsenal team. Oh, Robin Van Persie, Ian Wright has been summed off, and we've now got Andre running down the left flank. Van Persie in the box, cross coming in, but nobody attacked it. Ooh, good fall for Van Persie, who goes for a trademark acrobatic effort like that. Saved. Oh, Van Persie, please just go for goal. I wanted to see a Van Persie long shot. Ben White ruined all the party, but there you go. Game comes to an end, and well, 4-0. Absolute domination from Prime Arsenal. Ian Wright was just a god here. Absolutely insane. Well, time to get into some career mode fun. Just to spice up the career mode stuff, I am going to put Arsenal in the Champions League. Because we're doing just one season. I want to see this prime Arsenal in the Champions League. All right, boys. Time for the career mode simulation. Before we begin this, I'd appreciate if you could spare a second to drop a like in the video. If you enjoy what you see, subscribe as well for daily FIFA 21 career mode. 22, actually. 
FIFA 22 career mode. Gosh. All right, boys. Here we are in the career mode. We've put Arsenal in the Champions League, as you just saw. And this is the team we're going to be simulating a season with and seeing what they can do. Before that, though, if you like what you see, I'd appreciate it if you could take a second and drop a like in the video. Subscribe as well for daily FIFA 22 career mode content. Let's sim until the end and see what this prime Arsenal side is all about. It's a small squad, which could work against their favor. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. We get sacked with a prime Arsenal team. Now, how bad have they done this season? Okay, so with Norwich, I managed to sim until the end of the season. We just need to see how this prime Arsenal team has done. Have they managed to win the league? At least they're in the top six. Fifth, I cannot believe a prime Arsenal side couldn't finish in the top four. I think I need to fill out the squad with like maybe even average players because I think squad depth is what's letting them down. But oh well, fifth is where they finish. FA Cup for Spurs. Wow. Carabao Cup for Spurs. So Spurs win two trophies while there's a prime Arsenal in town. I'm surprised. Arsenal finished second in their Champions League group and they were unfortunate enough to get drawn by PSG and they got battered. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I think I can see the stats for the Arsenal team this way. Thierry Henry scored 19 times in 30 Premier League games. Dennis Bergkamp scored 18 as well. Ian Wright with 8. Van Persie scored just 5. Overmars was decent. Patrick Vieira. Good contribution. Emmanuel Petit with 6 assists who played the most games in the Prem for them. Bearing Peter Chesney and all. Very, very interesting. That's the career mode part done. Time for some Volta. I guess for the two teams, this is what we're going. Henri, Bergkamp and Vieira and Odegaard Lacazette party. Let's get into the Volta game. We're playing this in London, by the way. And also, we're just going to play one half. So that's going to decide the score. One half. That's all. It just feels odd seeing Henri Vieira Bergkamp on a futsal pitch. You know what would be nice if they actually wear just normal clothes for this kind of a challenge, but uh, oh well, it just feels like they're full kit wankers, as they say, <laughs> wearing these full kits in a futsal game or a, you know, Volta Street football game. Just, just feels weird. Odegaard, couple of skills. Hey, look at that, Odegaard. They're just passing it around, man. Somebody just drive the ball forward and do something. It, it just feels like... Look at this. It's just pass, 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 pass. Somebody's got to do something here. Literally feels like I'm watching Pass Simulator. Finally, though. Well, somewhere at least the current Arsenal team winning. Partey with the goal. Odegaard oh. with a cheeky attempt, but came off the wall, I guess. Go on, Andre. Go on, Andre. Wow, that was a good attempt, but straight at Partey's knee. One and a half minutes to go. I swear if the current Arsenal team... Snatch a win here. Oh, Lacazette. Thomas Partey. I see Odegaard in so much open space. Partey goes for goal. I don't think we've seen a decent attack from Bergkamp, Andre, and Vieira so far. That might change here. Yeah? Andre goes for a chip shot. Falls for Patrick Vieira. Of course he's going to score. And then there's a, there's, a, there's a a front flip. Don't get that, but okay. Okay, wow. Andre getting absolutely destroyed there by Thomas Partey. Are we going to see another goal, boys, in this first half? There's only one half. If it's a draw, we'll take it as a draw, I guess. Let's see. Vieira. Andre. Oh, Vieira. Oh, Vieira with the chip. Who does a chip shot in street football? I don't know why Odegaard, Odegaard literally got scared. He literally got scared. Wow. Okay, it's 2-1 to the Prime squad, but oh well. 30 seconds for the current Arsenal team to try and save their respect or whatever. Odegaard has to score. What just happened here? Crossbar, rebound. I'm, I'm confused, but that's 2 all. Oh my god, off the crossbar in the last second. Current Arsenal squad could have won it. I can't... I, 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 oh, we can't end it off here. We're going to have to do... The second half as well. It's such an intriguing game. Yes, we're doing another three minutes, boys. Because two all. Nah, we got to see who wins. Lacazette. Cut back. Ooh, now on the counter. Bergkamp. Back heel. Andre. Bit too much passing here. But let's see how it works. Vieira. Is he going to shoot? Andre. That was so well worked. That deserved a goal. Oh, Bergkamp off the bar. Out of nowhere. Oh, that might be an own goal. That might be an own goal. It is. No, Dennis. I think Odegaard got the final touch, but that's a very weird goal. If that ends up deciding the game, that'd be funny. Why was Vieira doing that? He literally did like a weird no-look pass, and that costed them a goal. 
Patrick Vieira on Fraud Watch, guys. He may be unreal in, in a full pitch, but on the streets, Patrick Vieira is washed. Well, Cam, why did he pass it back? Could have just gone for goal. Vieira now shooting, but Thomas Partey has been a rock. Look at him play. Martin Odegaard, Martin Odegaard. Could have found Partey there. I don't know why he didn't. The passing in Volta is just so unrealistic. Like, what's happening? It's, is it like pinball or something? Anyways, like I said, tries a chip shot. That was a bit too much. Bergkamp can just shoot and he'd probably score there. I don't know why he didn't do that. He still has it. Vieira. Andre. Somebody shoot. Somebody shoot the ball. 30 seconds. I think it's game over for the prime time squad because they just don't want to shoot. And they're going to take an L because of it. And they might actually concede another one. Oh, the God. He just had to tap that home. And that's going to gift a way back for the prime Arsenal squad. Where else would you see Vieira pop front flips? Nowhere else. 15 seconds to go. Are they even going to get enough time for the chance? Party's going to shoot. Here tries the chip. And that leaves them with 7 seconds. This is insane. 7, 4, 3, 2. Oh, Andre missed. Imagine if he would have scored. Current Arsenal ends up winning 4-3. That was close. But with that, we're going to be wrapping up the video right here. Really enjoyed this. And if you guys did as well, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.